See if you guys have ever wondered why I always talk about driving through a creek all the time. Here it is. This is what I drive through every single day. It doesn't matter what I'm on, car or a bike. <laughs> so, I guess you guys have probably been wondering where I've been for a little while since it's been at least a year since I've posted anything. Um, obviously been dealing with this cute fucking bundle of joy in the back seat. But the other flip side to it is Melissa and I, when we moved out of our townhouse because of uh, the, essentially a domestic violence issue with our neighbors, not from us, but they were having their own argument and one of them pulled a gun and then tried to run the other one over in our front lawn, we decided to move out. <laughs> That really wasn't uh, our cup of tea. Um, so since then we've been staying with my folks out in Lexington, which is kind of a pain in the ass because it's about 40 to 50 miles of driving every day just to get into town and get to work and all that stuff. But the good thing is um, we don't have to worry about somebody else's fucking crazy ass shooting and or putting cars into our living room. And this was before Emma was born too, so it's obviously been quite a long time. Um, but essentially, moving out to bumfuck nowhere, our internet speeds are garbage. So I really can't upload very often. Um, I'm actually going to be uploading this from work. <laughs> I'll have to edit the file, then take it to work, then upload it, and do all that shit. <sighs> but hopefully beginning of the year we'll start looking for a house again and, and get something good that way we're not out in the middle of nowhere and I can start uploading and doing video stuff again because I, I honestly do miss it but on the same side like it's been kind of it's it's been kind of relaxing not being like okay well you know I have this other part like hobby that I haven't touched in forever that other people enjoy um I've, I've been kind of super selfish and I've pretty much just been playing video games and <laughs> doing 3D modeling and that's about it. But uh, yeah, so I guess I'll just go through some new stuff. Uh, this is my new car, well new to me car. It's a 2005 BMW 330Ci, uh, the ZHB package. Um, I actually, if you, yeah, hopefully you guys are still following Instagram. Please, 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 please still follow me there because I've been active there the whole time. Um, I had a 2004 that I traded for my Jeep uh, to a private seller and before I could even get the title back from the DMV, somebody rear-ended me and totaled it. So I had, a, I had a 2004 330Ci, which was just the regular like base model. Um, and then drove down to Florida, bought this with the insurance um, insurance money. And crazy enough, I got a my the old one had 207,000 miles on it. When I bought this, it had 99. And with all the insurance money and and selling the old car, um, I ended up paying out of pocket for 100,000 miles less a year newer. Um, five hundred dollars because essentially the Jeep was a gift to me, and then I straight traded for the other BMW, so that didn't cost me anything, which was fucking phenomenal. But I bought this car knowing it had issues, and that issue turned out to be a uh, blown head gasket, which wasn't that big of a deal. Um, I took it to uh, a couple buddies of mine at SOS Motors up in um, Johns Creek and they did a whole head gasket job and all that stuff so did a bunch of other tinker stuff in there while we were coming back out new seals and gaskets and all that stuff just to make sure everything was topped up but uh so i essentially bought like a six seven thousand dollar value car for all in i've replaced a couple stuff like a fuel pump that went out and then like a battery i think all in i'm like maybe three thousand dollars total because the head gasket job was not fun. <laughs> I could have done it myself, but I don't know anything about Vanos, which is how BMW does their um, uh, adjustable cam profiles. Um, it's 
pretty much BMW's VTEC, only better and not shitty. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, I've got this now. Um, the ZHP model is actually sweet. If you guys don't know anything about BMWs, it's, it's the performance version of the base model, but not the M3. So it's got M suspension, M wheels, M steering wheel, six speed gearbox. Um, uh, it comes with a, a very particular set of wheels that only come on the ZHP model, which was cool. I don't really care for them, but they look better than the other ones. Um, uh, it has a different interior styling for like right here on the arm, arm pieces. I'm not sure why the front trim isn't that way. But I know the arm pieces are, so that's not a bad gig. Um, it's got a, it had a uh, trunk spoiler, which only comes with the ZHP model, or if somebody purchased it from the factory that way on on their regular model. And then it's got some updated body kit, different front bumper, side skirts, um, cool stuff, stuff that makes it look a little bit more sporty. And the one big big benefit is. This model goes up to 6,800, whereas the old one only goes to seven, I think. No, I'm sorry. Red line is at 65 on the old one. This one's at 68. And then the red line's also pushed a little bit further past seven. The other one stops at seven. So that's cool. But it's got an extra 10 horsepower because of a different cam profile. And uh, ironically enough, an actual, like, legit sought after car. Uh, most people who buy them hold on to them for a while and, and drive them and enjoy them. So I got super lucky. Um, huge, huge thanks to the wife for going out of Florida with me and driving back in her own car. <laughs> that way I could go buy this thing. But um, yeah, so it's fucking sweet. Um, I'm actually headed to work right now. Not to work, but to actually go work on this. I've got some stuff I need to do with it you know there's no, the front bumper doesn't quite fit right and the hood seems like it, it the like a bump stop isn't there and it sits a little too low and it's just a bunch of nitpicky piddly stuff um, I do know functionally I've got to do uh, an engine mount and then two trans mounts um, that the SOS motors the guys at SOS just told me that I should go ahead and just do it now just because it's already everything else that's interacting with that stuff is already pretty refreshed so but functionally I would say that the guy took care of it pretty well um, I mean being the fact that he knew the guy had to have known that he had a balloon head gasket and I, I'm I because I'm just not in in with cars and knowing all of those signs if it was a motorcycle I would have been able to tell but I didn't know it was a head gasket at the time I just knew something was wrong because it just wasn't idling right but being the fact that I essentially bought it for $500 I wasn't going to complain I was going <laughs> to figure that shit out um, so yeah so this is the daily car now you can see I'm missing a driver's side mirror which I actually have in the back seat <laughs> the other day I had Bella our dog in the back seat she tried to jump up front when I was making a left turn that has a stop sign in the middle of the concrete and I clipped the stop sign and, but I've got a back seat ready to go that's part of one of the things I'm doing on my list today is to fix that put that back in but uh, yeah so I I mean I'd like to say I've got a bunch of crazy build stuff planned for this but it's really all just wants and at this point I have the ability to do them but I'm just not sure if I'm going to be able to because I got so much other shit going on I can't spend nine hours a day in the back of the shop all my days off um, but I do know eventually I'll get wheels better wheels because these are torn up the guy just I, I don't know if it was this has had a quite a few owners surprisingly only having 90,000 miles when I bought it but the wheels are road rashed. Um, uh, one of the right side size curves doesn't even match. It's like for a base model, and the left side's the actual CHP. So I just have a bunch of small stuff I've got to fix on it. I'm gonna try to install my 12s in the back today. I gotta see if I can. I gotta make sure we've got the right like wire kit for it, but. 
So yeah, this thing is uh, sweet. I've never owned a manual car other than the first BMW, which I only had for like eight days. So I can drive a manual, but I just never bought one. The Jeep was automatic and my other cars were all automatic. And I have to admit that now that I've gone manual and I don't live in the city, I'm never gonna go back. <laughs> uh, it's uh, so much better. And like I know like gas mileage wise, it's probably not for the sake that you know, automatics are really efficient, but you're just so much more like connected. Like you're, uh, I can't explain it unless you have a manual. Then you know, then you know. You okay? okay. Yeah? Where'd your bottle go? Ba, 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 ba. Where'd it go? Did you drop it? Uh, uh, Dropped? Yeah? Uh, yeah? Can I have a high five? Yeah! <laughs> She's too cute, man. Way too cute. And I'd say I'd use her as the main excuse why I don't upload, but it's not. <laughs> We've been doing a bunch of stuff family-wise and, and just taking up a lot of our time, especially with her in the evenings, but it's just way easier for me to be focused on like being halfway, because in, in, the, in the evenings, both both of us will do our own kind of thing, but Melissa and I, she'll watch TV shows or whatever and I'll, I'll play video games. But the good thing is, is that when I'm doing, when both of us are doing those activities, we can snap away from it really quick. If she's like playing with toys and falls or something like that, whatever it is. Um, and with editing, I can't because I wear full over the ear, uh, over the head earphones, headphones, over the ear headphones. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> Um, and on top of that, I'm facing three monitors that are like three feet from my face, so I'm not really paying attention to what's going on behind me, because that's how we have the room set up. Yeah? Okay. You done? Alright. <laughs> But it just makes it a little bit easier on both of us. That way I'm not, I don't feel like I'm just like totally ignoring everything that's going on. And I really don't like doing that anyways. Something about being a bad parent. <laughs> oh. I hope you're not. Tell if that was. It was definitely cop, but I couldn't tell if that was. I don't think that was Oakland County. I guess we'll find out. Uh, I almost bought one of these wagons right here, an E46 wagon. Ah, uh, dude. Ah. Uh, the the biggest problem with them though is I couldn't find them in a manual. And the ones that I could find that were in manual, the guys wanted, you know, three to four thousand dollars for, which is about the going rate. But they had like almost three hundred thousand miles. And even though this engine is 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 good for it, it's just one of those things. Like the whole point of us getting new vehicles was to keep from having to worry about excessive mileage and wear and tear and stuff like that in an older vehicle because both of us had older cars. Go, 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 Sol, go. Come on, go. Let me get in third. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can hear the car or not. The previous owner did a resonator, a single resonator delete, muffler delete, and then a full, um, I guess you could call it a full mid pipe to the back or straight pipe to the back. I still don't know how I feel about it. I, I feel like under full song, like inside the car, it sounds like gross. Like it sounds like a, like a whoopee cushion flapping in in, in like an exhaust sound. I, I don't know. Um, but regular like this, just cruising, it reminds me of like a, a Subaru engine like a boxer engine that unequal headers or something like that. A little less uh, exaggerated, but. 
I may or may not change it. I also haven't been outside the car if with somebody else driving it, so I don't know what it sounds like outside the vehicle without like just like the windows rolled down. <laughs> but that costs money, and it's expensive. I just wanted to let you guys know I'm not dead and I've got stuff that I'm playing with the mini I still have the mini I bought a mini earlier this year uh, mini Cooper is a 2003 r53 um, and the whole purpose of buying it was to cram twin oh no no I did some live stream stuff of like the modeling for it but I didn't have a shell at that time so if you guys go back on the channel, there should be some live streams of me like playing with some models and stuff in, in uh, SketchUp. Um, so I actually bought the shell and I've since um, cut the shell on one side. I've still got to drop the gas tank and, and cut it on the other. But the uh, roof section is gone, like the whole back side of the hatch is gone. Um, I pulled all the interior, all of the um, uh, upholstery, all that stuff except for just the two seats in the wheel, the whole dash is gone. I, I, I've essentially gutted the car, the whole harness is out. Um, obviously, I'd, I bought the car without a motor and transmission, which is what made it so cheap, but I essentially bought... You okay? Okay. Yeah? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Moments that terrify you as a parent. <laughs> um, I essentially bought the car with a clean title for 700 bucks up in South Carolina or North Carolina uh, because the guy had already pulled the motor out of it. He said that he was like, when I went to buy it, he said that the motor and transmission and the body separate are worth more than they are together. And I was like, that's, I mean, that's cool. Here's $700 I'm taking this because that's clean title and insurance is going to question it once. They're, they're not going to question anything once I register it because it's going to be a fucking bastardized and insane. <laughs> You okay? okay. Alright. But the whole process was essentially um, my excuse to have something to tinker with super long term. Because um, there's no way I'm going to have two R1 motors and all that stuff. All the materials to do the project anytime soon. I don't... <laughs> I definitely don't make a lot of money so <laughs> this is going to be super long term. But the idea is that it's gonna be like a 10 year project. And insanely enough, I've already gotten the car and done a bunch of modeling ahead of time, which seems to have saved me a couple years off of that whole design process. Um, granted, if I had a budget of like 10 or 15 Gs, I could probably do it in a year, like totally be done. But I have to buy a house and have to buy the wife a car and still have money to not be poor. So that's kind of a priority. Um, but yeah, it's sweet. Um, the project has moved in a couple different directions as far as the rear end goes because it's essentially going to be twin R1 motors made it to a common crank, um, or not, no, sorry, not common crank, common uh, drive shaft, um, jack shaft, however you want to call it. And then that'll run into a rear end. And I think I'm going to end up using a Miata rear end specifically just because it's a five bolt and it's um, uh, a dual wishbone suspension setup. So it'll actually look pretty good, especially if I get like a drift rear end or something like that for it. Um, I can put some nice fancy bits in there and it, the rear end's gonna be naked. So it, it having something that you can show off is more important than trying to hide, you know, hide it underneath a piece of uh, plates, aluminum or steel or something like that. Yeah, shoe. Yeah, look at that. You're taking off your shoe. All right. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. Um, I'm also um, sadly going to be selling the FZ. <laughs> uh, with how events turned 
in getting this vehicle and having you know having to get rid of the old one and then also Melissa's car kind of dying out she ended up selling her bike as well um, and I still have Ruth I still have Tessa so if those are projects that I want to pursue in the future I can but unfortunately I think the FC has kind of met its um, end for the simple fact that if I get rid of that payment and then also get rid of the insurance that we're using, you know, paying to, to cover the bike. Um, we essentially turn around all of that money, which would have been savings, into going straight into her new car. So effectively, our lifestyle doesn't change and she gets a new vehicle, which is good. I'm all about making sure the lifestyle doesn't change because changing lifestyle sucks because it usually means you got to get a new job and budget differently and all that stuff and our, our our budgeting at the moment is working out really well for us saving money and we're really trying not to spend any more um hence why buying this car was <laughs> such a good investment because buying one of these outright would have cost us a lot <laughs> um so i'm selling the fc um if you guys are interested in purchasing it, uh, 4500 it'll come with the tank. You guys have seen the damage and stuff that's done, been done to it over the years that I've owned it. Um, it's got just under 20,000 miles. Um, it comes with a couple extras, um, a gas tank, um, what else, uh, maintenance manual, all that stuff. Um, and as you guys know, I mean, I work at a shop, so it's been maintained by the shop since I've owned it, which has been excellent. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested, shoot me an email, stickerbombed at gmail.com, um, and that is spelled without the vowels, uh, except for the E. <laughs> um, and get in touch with me, let me know. Um, I will not ship it unless you're paying for it. Um, so it's at Bedlam Works in Athens. You guys are welcome to come take a look at it anytime you want to. Um, it's just time, unfortunately. And it's going to be we really weird being a motorcycle mechanic and not owning a daily motorcycle. <laughs> but it's it just at this, at right now in our lives, it makes it a lot easier for me to own a nice car and her to own a nice car than it is for us to have shitty cars and nice motorcycles. So we're going to be adults. Adulting sucks. <laughs> but it's all for the sweets. Isn't it? Yeah? Hey. Sweetheart, what are you doing? I like it. You're not you're not doing anything? Alright, that's fine. <laughs> um so yeah, that's that's about it. Um I guess I, I think I brought you guys up to date. If if you <laughs> I'm gonna cover my own ass and say uh, I may have missed some things in the last year and a half or whatever it's been. So get on my Instagram. Check out the Instagram. The Instagram's my chronological oh, wagon. I want you. Um, pretty much my every week kind of posts and updates and stuff like that, what I'm doing. Um, you can also find the Instagram for this vehicle on a couple of posts in there as well. Um, at much stock underscore so wow underscore ZHP. If you guys want to follow this, uh, Project Hodor is the name of the mini, and Project Hodor is just at Project underscore Hodor. Um, that's also got its own blog that I did a couple posts in, kind of doing the demo. Um, if you guys are interested in that, if not, fuck all of it and only wait for videos, but I have no idea when that's going to be, so you guys are up to the mercy of my upload schedule. <laughs> I'll try and make it better, but the big thing is the upload's the problem at the moment. I have zero internet. I have 2.5 down and 0.5 up. <laughs> I pretty much have, like, dial-up 10 years ago. Uh, Alright, you guys enjoy. See you later.